Okay, so we're about to get started. Uh, half a cup, right? TVP? Mm-hmm. Okay. Half a cup. I like these stainless steel cups because the thing is engraved in there. And I know. Whatever. Don't you hate the plastic ones? It always rubs off. It rubs off and then you just take your best guess. Yeah. But anyway, half a cup, TVP into the frying pan. Just like that. Making a mess. I'm pretending like I'm genie in the kitchen. <laughs> okay. And is it two to three cups of water? I'll start with two cups. You just want to make sure the TVP is completely submerged. Completely submerged. All right, we'll start with two cups of water. Out of our sink. This is our kitchen sink, which y'all have all seen before. This is our new kitchen, outdoor kitchen cooking area. It's not new, we just put it all up. Got our grill over there, got the cut stove top here. So that's cool. This is the dining room slash living room or shelter, whichever you prefer. Get water. Get water. Hand pump takes a while. Starting with two cups. Yeah. I'll add more water if needed. It doesn't look like we're going to need to. But two cups. Got this recipe yep. from VegWeb. And I will link it below in the description. This recipe we're following for sure because it's just a basic recipe for ground beef. The bean recipe, we I looked at a lot of different things and from experience of making cowboy beans before. And I'm this is the cowboy beans is mine. And we're going to have to taste it as we go to see how it tastes because we've never done this. Okay. Two tablespoons of soy sauce or liquid aminos, um, whichever you happen to have on hand. We use soy sauce. Or you can also use tamari. 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 Tamari also. Okay, this is just going to add some color, I guess, and a little saltiness to the TVP. Make it look a little more appetizing. One tablespoon. tablespoons and a couple of squirts. A couple of squirts. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we're going to put this under some heat, or on top of some heat, and put some heat underneath it as soon as I find the lighter. Well, I, keep I thought I had everything. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's the little things. It's the little things. Alright, so we're, we're going to boil this. this until the about water evaporates, and then we're going to add the other spices. In the meantime, I'm going to have to dice up some onion and uh, mince up some garlic. So, y'all have seen that stuff before. No big. We'll get back. We'll get back. Okay, so we've got the TVP cooking down. Uh, once all the water evaporates, you're supposed to add oil to this. We are not adding oil to this. It's a pretty good non-stick pan. We don't feel like the oil is necessary. Uh, in this pan over here, we've got the garlic and onion. Um, they are sauteing in water. Uh, we could have used vegetable broth or beer, but we don't have any beer on hand and didn't see the point of opening up a brand new vegetable broth when water will work just fine. And besides, we're making cowboy baked beans. You don't use vegetable broth for cowboy baked <laughs> beans. Come on. You don't use TVP either, but... Well, this is true. <laughs> <laughs> and I suppose maybe a beer would have been in order, but... Like I said, we don't have any beer on the map. So, off of this, once it does, then we're going to fry it uh, to kind of stiffen it up a little bit, give it a little more texture, because it's pretty soggy right now. And then, uh, then I guess we start adding the rest of the ingredients, right? Okay, so we put all the ingredients in the beans. Yes. We added ketchup, mustard, cumin, a little bit more liquid smoke. And the beans are in with the onion and garlic that we sauteed. Right. So now our job, since we've never done this before and never made this recipe, is to taste those a little bit and see if you think they need salt, pepper, more, more of something, or some sweetness. They are a touch on the tart side. I figured they would be. Um, would you like to take a taste? Good flavor, but yes. they need some sweetness. I was right. So, some agave. Okay. Normally, you would use maple syrup. However, maple syrup is expensive. expensive. A teaspoon of agave. Okay. Start with a teaspoon. Of see, a stir. see how much sweetness the agave added to it. 
I like sweet beans. Sweeter baked beans. Sweeter, yes. These aren't baked beans, but, well, but we don't are. have an oven to bake them in. Well. Spiders making their highways and using my head as a <laughs> off ramp. Outdoor cooking. Yep. Love it. Wouldn't have it any other way. But we do have a nice outdoor kitchen area now. Yes, we do love our location. We are really enjoying where we are at. How that taste? There's still a bit of a twang, but they have sweetened up. I don't think the twang taste is going to go away. Yeah, turn them down. Down. That's pretty tasty. I say we add the hamburger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> and mix it up and let it simmer for a little bit because this has got some flavor to it too, which is going to add to this. Yeah, that's how the hamburger turned out. Yeah, it actually, actually kind of looks like hamburger. Kind of looks like hamburger. So we're adding that to the beans. Normally you put bacon in cowboy beans, but we're not doing that. No. That's what the liquid smoke is for. No, I have a friend named Houdini who's a pig, and he wouldn't have, wouldn't really like for me to uh -uh. use bacon. So no. he eat bacon if he gave it to me though. Yeah, he'd probably eat anything to get to him. All right, so we're gonna put that all in. And my plan is to cover it and simmer it covered for about 20 minutes, let the flavors mingle. How's that sound? Sounds good. Let's see this how it looks. It's looking good. Oh, that looks nice and hearty. Yes, give this all a right. good stir around. This would go great with some garlic bread. Uh, we don't have any. <laughs> but it would go great with it if we did. Yep. All right, so we're going to let All that right, are we ready to eat? We're ready to eat. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, finished product. 15 minutes simmering for about 50. It's looking pretty good. Looking really good, actually. And I think... Um, I think I ran out of gas. So, I think maybe it is time to eat. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, throw down on some cowboy baked beans. Yep. What's up? <laughs> What are you doing? Putting my shoe on. Why don't you take your leg off and put your shoe on and put your leg back on? Too easy that way. Ah. Although I might end up doing it that way. <laughs> it's funny, I tried forever to find a pair of boots that would fit. And now I can take my boots on and off without taking my leg off, but I still have to fight with my tennis shoes. So you are gonna take your leg off. I am gonna take my on. leg off. Ain't that easier? <laughs> Doesn't everyone's leg need to bend that way? <laughs> Don't that way, you wish you were in? <laughs> okay, anyway. And it still doesn't want to go on. Bang it. It doesn't work like that. Oh. Oh. You need to get your. Oh, gross. You threw it on me. All right, so I need to loosen it up more. Okay. It's funny how it'll come off without any problem, but then when it goes to go back on. That's the same thing that happens with real feet. I guess I do have somewhat of an oh, advantage, don't I? Yeah. Okay. Now, anyway, we had the cowboy beans. Yes, we did. And they were very good. Yes, they were. For the first time recipe, they were good. Yes. The only changes we're going to make, which will reflect in the recipe, in the link below, is that we're going to double the hamburger. TVP. TVP, yeah, sorry. Hamburger substitute, whatever, yeah. We're going to keep all the spices the same. The original recipe called for a half a cup, half a cup of TVP. And we feel like that wasn't enough. It turned out to be closer to a half a pound equivalent of ground beef. We like more of that, so we're going to make it a full cup, which should bring it to the equivalent of a pound. Right. And the other spices, I think, can stay the same because it was almost too spiced with just that with little bit. With the exception bit. of the added cumin. We're only going to put the cumin in the TVP this time. We're not going to add any extra to oh, yeah. the um, right. which we Recipe yeah. success. I think so. Yep, I think yep, so too. Another one. We're going to have to start writing a cookbook because we get some recipes together, aren't we? Yes, we are.